It is an honor to be here. And I bet you're wondering, why is Google calling all doc stars? Well, the answer is simple. We have so many rock stars in our open source industry. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a little cold. But we do have so many rock stars. And we've made amazing software together. And it's being used all over the world, as Erica and Cheryl had mentioned. And let's face it, we like when people use our software. It allows us to help people at scale. And let's face it, it feels pretty good when people use our stuff. So the question is, how do we get more people to use our software? And the answer is documentation. And that's why we need more doc stars. So you can see from this survey from DigitalOcean that documentation is the number one adoption driver for our projects. And that makes sense. It is obviously an easy way to help everyone learn how to use the software. And it also makes our projects much more accessible. But unfortunately, we don't have enough doc stars. In this survey, only 4% of the participants said they're contributing to documentation. And that's a problem. That's a problem for Google, and that's a problem for our whole industry. It's a real missed opportunity. And Google wanted to start to address this. So we conducted some research to understand what are the top blockers to contributing to documentation. And we found that there were three, time, support, and reward. And um, well, let's face it, a contributor only has so much time. And they're going to choose a path that's easy and rewarded. And that's usually the case with contributing to code. It's a very well-documented process, very supported. And of course, it is very well rewarded with lots of recognition programs uh, that different projects provide to highlight and amplify those code contributors. But unfortunately, this just is not the case with people who contribute to documentation. And so if you are looking to address this in your project, we have three pro tips for you. The first one is target your first time contributors. If you remember your first time contributing, it was a little bit scary. Well, you can make it less scary by giving them a path to contribute to documentation. It's just a little bit easier. But if you do offer that, you want to make sure that you provide a very smooth and easy process. And what that means is that you need to document how to contribute to documentation. And that's a little meta, but it's really important. You also need to take out the mystery of how to write good docs. And so you want to provide templates. And that's another thing Google's working on with a new project called the Good Docs Pro Project. So keep your eye out for that in the future. And then lastly, when you are doing your reward and recognition programs, please include your doc stars. Uh, make them feel like they're just like heroes, like all your other kinds of contributors. And include them in your release notes. So we hope that you'll use these pro tips. We're using them at Google. But we also feel there's a sense of urgency, and we want to make sure that we have more than 4% of contributors uh, writing documentation. We want 10 and 20%. And so we are putting our money where our mouth is, and we have launched a new program called Season of Docs. It's similar to our Google Summer of Code, which uh, matches students with projects to work on um, code. But for Season of Docs, we are hiring tech writers and paying them to work on project documentation. I am really pleased that this year we are working with these 50 projects. And we have already secured the tech writers, and the work is underway. It's going to be concluding between December and January. We're really excited to see what kind of impact we can make together. And I'm also equally excited to see what kind of learnings we're going to get from this program so that we can evolve this program more and also share the learnings out with all of you so we can all improve together. So if you, are, if you would like more information about Season of Docs or Google Summer of Code or any of our open source programs or projects, please check us out on our website or follow us on Twitter. And in the meantime, 
please remember to thank a doc star, because we need them. Thank you.